Hey guys, um, just wanted to show you a quick video here of the <coughs> Texan Pineapple script. Um, I have the module pretty much done. I was going to release it last night actually until I found a problem where um, if you text it from different carriers, you won't it won't parse the message correctly so you won't get the response you expect. And um, I've just been messing with it a lot. Uh, it works fine with Pinger, if you guys use Pinger. But um, I just wanted to show you that I am working on it, and here's the actual module for it that you'll, the interface I guess you could say. And I'll show you how it works really fast. So whenever you first get to it, you need to install your dependencies, which is just Python, and Python OpenSSL, and then you'll have to create a dynamic, or a symbolic link, sorry for your logs. And um, yeah, so now let's go ahead and give it our information. So we put in our Gmail account here. I'm going to say texting pineapple oops, pineapple at gmail.com and give it a password and whatever your phone number is, go with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0 and you need to put your SMS gateway, I'm just going to say like sprint.text.com Whatever yours is, I just made that up on top of my head. Um, you can have your own, you can have three custom commands, which will do whatever you tell them to say uh, on a keyword. In this case, um, these three keywords are here. Or, I guess it's more, but yeah, you get the point. Um, so let's just go ahead and say, echo hello world into slash pineapple slash log slash semester.log. And you can do whatever you want for the rest of them as well. And you can also say send a test message. I'm not going to do that because this is all bogus information. And submit the info whenever you're ready. And you come down here and it created a cron job for you. And you can modify it and you can add switches, uh, change your inbox. You can do whatever you want to right here. Then once you're ready, you just simply click submit cron job. Um, don't want to make any changes to this. Nah. Uh, one thing I'm going to point out really fast is whenever you put a custom command, it will wrap it in quotation marks. That's just because how my Python script is reading the arguments that are sent to it. So let's go ahead and submit this cron job. Alright, cool. And now the cron job has been submitted, and if we come over to jobs, we can see it right here. And needs to go down the line, but yeah, and it also restarts the cron daemon, so you don't even have to come over here and update your cron jobs at all, if you don't want to. And uh, whenever it runs, you'll have logs right here, and you can clear your logs, you can reset your cron job, um, you can do whatever you want to. I'll show you how it works really quick. Now uh, click reset, and it just goes back to the default thing, but then whenever you have logs, you just click clear, and it clears all your logs for you. I'm actually going to go ahead and remove this so I don't generate a lot of errors. And I, I really just wanted to show you guys that I am working on it, and hopefully I'll have it done soon. Uh, like I said, the problem is is that it's not um, parsing your message from different carriers correctly. So, uh... I don't know how we're going to do this, but um, I don't really have a phone. So if you guys wouldn't mind sending a text message to textingpineapple at gmail.com, that'd be awesome. Um, I don't know if I expect anyone to do that, because I would be getting your number that way. But I, I won't do anything with it if you decide to do that. And all that's going to happen is I'm going to try to send you the correct response from the pineapple. So... Yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully I'll have this done soon. Um, and if you guys just think that you could use Pinger, then it's done right now. But uh, yeah, have a good day.